everyone and welcome to another playthrough of Mechanicus from 2018. This is Fourth Bandit Steering Wheel and today is day 26 of this year's Mechanicum Mars Madness. Beep, 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 beep. So uh, I failed to unlock the... Um, let's see here, try to figure out. I failed to unlock the Neftox... Uh, what do you call it? Cave? A tomb? Uh, so I will have to fight Agrolec if I'm able to, if I'm gonna do uh, uh, Saragon before this time runs out. So we're gonna go the Void Admiral today, the Agrolec one. The Void Admiral, this, this guitar have located the burial chamber of Void Admiral Agrolec. Prime Hermeticon Caprix uh, advocates leading a mission to destroy the Necro Lord and strike a blow against the Necros in the tomb of Agrolec. Elim eliminate Void Admiral Agrolec. We get some uh, weapons. And uh, we get uh, to upgrade our Skitari Vanguard, some Blackstone. There isn't so many enemies that we need to worry about. It's a uh, Deathmark, our Camphrites, and our Necron Warriors. But, as we know with the, one of the earlier pr uh, bosses is that the, there are, like for instance, the, um, they came some Vanguard or Vanguard, despite the fact that it wasn't uh, announced here. So I don't like that fact. Ah, so no, uh, no dialogue before this. Three of these, two of these, one of these, and one of these. I know, I, I, I know, I have to be able to play these sometime, but I, they're so expensive to activate, and I imagine they're expensive to use too. So maybe, maybe we should be uh, using them. Uh, Instead of uh, one of these, let's use... Uh, do we want to use this? We can use the Catafron at least, just try it. <coughs> Confirm location of Lord, Lord Agrolec. Skitari intelligence recovered partially picked grabs of target construct form. Our research suggests Agrolec was the lord of the Necron fleets. His purpose in the awakening of Silver Tenebris will be clear, to helm their war fleets in expanding this pocket of Necron domination. Outcome unacceptable, solution introvertible. <coughs> I concur, Prime Hermeticon. He bested us once before, not again. We must destroy him. I think we faced off against him in one of the earlier missions. Alright, I maybe this, it should be the spell like this. Dispatch the falconers and muster the hounds. The hunt commences. Hmm. We have learned a lot since we last encountered Agrolec, but we know he won't go down without uh, one hell of a fight. A challenge calculated to be worth the risk and resources, Subdomina. Oh, I agree. Agrolec is wor a worthwhile target. I just wouldn't put credits on too, uh, on too many men coming back from the attempts. Expenditure of personnel and material calculated as justifiable. I'll pass that on to the men and women risking their lives. They shall rally to the hunting horn and they call to this assembly. The chase begins. Make ready for the unmaking of Agrolec. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, one long walk over there. Glyphs! I think this is good. Ah, uh, well, we already have a uh, which pay points. This is just to drag out the time, so it's uh, gonna have a lot more when we face off against the uh, Void Animal. <coughs> Our presence has been detected. Uh, 
This appears to be the basic linear alpha script, the simplest of the Necron languages. Relative speaking of course, but it is known from several exemplars. I should be able to translate some of it if you can be, get the be de decent picked grabs. Series of glossy black slabs fills this chamber, arranged in a semicircle around the statue of the Necron destroyer armed with a skyflight weapon. The slabs are described with thousands of Necron runes. <coughs> Uh, transport. Uh, try to break one of the slabs on the mooring so it can be moved back to the case to metal again. Transmit. Take hur hurried uh, pick grabs of the slabs and move on from this sinister place. Translate. Remain in the chamber sending lives images to Teresa for a more accurate translation. Uh, let's try this one. Great Kane's ghost, I have never read such hatred. Agrilek and the destroyers believe that all life should be expunged from the galaxy, even their own. They hate everything, including themselves. Understanding such blasphemies is dangerous in itself. Kane, he was the fabricated general uh, of Mar uh, Mars during uh, uh, the Horus Heresy, or the, the loyalist faction of uh, the, the Mechanicum, who became the Mechanicus. So we got points, but they got uh, more awakening, so that's good. Translate from now on then. The other ones are just bad. Here we have actually learned something at least. Extra Necrons in battle. Glyphs! This one is good, as we know. Healing points, that's useless, at the moment at least. Looks like these scarabs were woken by the reanimation protocols and continue with their default programming, finishing finish this statue. The necros have covered their tombs in images of themselves and they still haven't finished. Uh, the chamber appears to be a workshop. A large slab of gleaming metal had been partially carved into a statue of glowing necron, perhaps Lord Agrolek. Several scarab constructs are scurrying across the slab, shooing uh, away the material as they continue the process of creating the statue. Cast down tools, idols. Uh, this mission is to destroy the statue of Agrilek and there is now one right here. Blow up the half in the statue and, as the Omnissiah demands. Uh, something acquisition. The slab looks like it's made of precious materials. Secure the chamber and report it, its position to nearby Skitari so it can be recovered for use. Gather specimens. Scarabs constructs could provide valuable insights uh, into the workings of Necrons. Acquire a few of them so they can be studied later. Uh, I think we're gonna do this. Damn it! Well, I'd rather that this one is uh, hurt than uh, it, we gain more here. The grim darkness of Agrilek's tomb is complete in Benai region. Not only is there a total absence of light, but the fluctuating red levels are interfering with the cohort's optical augmentations. Even the team's own light sources do not penetrate the unnatural gloom. They must traverse the, the uh, next area blind. Another path. Find a way around the blind spot. It will take longer, but could avert catastrophe. Slow and steady, more slowly and cautiously, least, uh, lest ex unexpected hazards of or Necron ambushes conspire with the darkness. Go, uh, boldly go, stride into the darkness, uh, the faithful of Mars do not fear darkness and they must move swiftly on to their objective. We're gonna slow and steady this. That was the, best, the worst decision. Extra Necrons of Battle. These are troopers from 7th Hexadecimal Cohort, Maniple Gamma. They went quiet 59 minutes ago. A handful of bodies lie in the chamber ahead, evidently Skitar who were caught in furious volley of gauze fire. Seal away, seal the chamber so the Necros cannot enter, and other Skitari can recover the bodies later. Morbid curiosity, examine the bodies to learn more of their cause of death. Waste not, want more, or uh, not. Check the bodies for useful materials that can be salvaged. 
worthless. So let's go into the shimmer dam. It just just sp spun him around completely. Location confirmed, energy reading spiking, code Venator in full effect. We are infested insects to be expunged. This damn creature has been watching us since we entered this tomb. It's been ready for us since the start. The quarry that knows it is hunted makes for the sweet to kill. Formulate target solution, now the prey is at bay. I have awoken into the company of these fleshly vermin. Tomorrow we conquer. Today we clear the filth from our doorstep. Recollections of Inquisitor Brand, Chapter 87 Of all creation most foul I behold, beheld the lord of all that knew that I was dead. We have been here before, Magus, but we are better prepared now. What are your orders? The chamber is dominated by the immense form of Lord Agolek, surrounded by the images of Necron war fleets conquering the stars. Death up close, charge in with righteous wrath and engage in close range. Pray for deliverance, speak the fourth psalm of protection from the omnicized foes before engaging. Do not go in with your souls unarmored. Stay at range, hold back and engage the enemy from a range. We're gonna do that. And I get the initiative. Something tells me that each of the choices are bad, no matter what, which one you go for. So let's see here, we have two over there, we have a warrior, two warriors, they're gonna be coming out immortals. We're not gonna go for the middle, I think we're gonna go through the sides to avoid being shot by him. And also collect these things. I do wonder what uh, his uh, special ability will be, because uh, uh, everyone... Oh, Jeremiah is like uh, third here. Like everyone, uh, every boss fight has like a, a thing that's upping them. Like the previous one, he stole my energy points and like that. Uh, the first one, he gained uh, more life for, for the more we killed. So, Tau. Okay. Uh, uh, no, we're gonna place him over here so we can gain the um, Oricus. Uh, Oricus. We're gonna be placed here too so we can gain. We gain the. We gain the caution points uh, directly. Mine. Take that. So I think that's gonna come nickel from these two. Uh, so. Why does it feel like this is gonna be the easiest boss fight uh, ever? Alright, uh, can we burn him is the question. No. Need to go up first. Use this. 
burn, you Necron Phil. Oh, he died from that. That was so super effective that it killed him in one go. Let's go, people. Uh, since it's so super effective, uh, I think we're gonna do this. We have enough points. I think we're in a range for being shot by the by the the Lord over there. Should we use another point just to go go up close? I think we're gonna do it so we get the first shot done here. See what we're up against. Maybe we should have attacked him instead of the warrior. That was a waste. That was a really wasteful. Uh, let's go up here and smack a rune in him. Might as well steal this first. Thank you. And now we know how much health you have too. You are not the worst boss fight. I think I have uh, overestimated you. Let's do the same here then. I don't think he's gonna survive the flame meter. I would be surprised if he did. I wasn't the lucky shot as the first round. I'm gonna poke you. Here. Until we know what kind of special abilities he has, I don't want to activate this fill up Gaussian. Not yet, at least. Cast a canticle for free. Canticle will be used uh, late, again later in this mission. Go and take that down. It would be very ironic if we managed to kill him before he even does did a damage. Uh, maybe we should activate because we're out of the gosh points and uh, we get to play all of my characters before the, the Necron Lord. So cast a canticle for free can be used again later. I'm gonna wait for that. Damage! Well, we're done there. Maybe I should have put them in the middle just to save uh, on walking uh, distance. But uh, then again, we did, we did get to kill the warriors. So I see that as a success in its own right. Shield him. I love the fact that I've given the that ability for all of my Tech priest, except the last one which I got last because I don't feel it's uh, useful to upgrade him at this uh, point in time actually. I think we're gonna go around so the last tech priest can also burn him without uh, risking any of our troopers. Like I said, 11. That's amazing. I don't think he will be able to get up there, to be quite honest. I think this is the furthest we're gonna go with get with him. It was good that we activated the guard points. So 
but we can do this. Like I said, it would be really cool if we got to kill him before he even uh, got to do anything. We killed him in the first round. That's what we call overpowered. Burn! Oh, I should have used this. That's, that's stupid of me. Well, use it now then. Only three left now. Will I kill him? That is the question. <laughs> they didn't even get to attack me. Mission complete. Lord Agralek falls, spewing sparks and fire. The Void Admiral collapses in a heap of wreckage that begins to teleport away, piece by piece, revealing the moment that the complex working of the war form underneath. Finally, Agralek is no more in a burst of terminal data that leaves the echo of a death edge in the new sphere. This is the quickest boss fight. Target inversion achieved, hunt complete. The Void Admiral has fallen, the Necrons of Silma Terminibris have lost their fleet commander. Prey tracked from quarrying to unmaking, beaten in open and chased down for the kill. 84 hunt efficiency, log for future analysis. The, sk the Skitar in the Tomb of Agrilek are reporting decreased coordination among the Awakening Constructs. Consolidation activity not the concern of a prime, prime Hermeticon, the key target acquisition ongoing. There will come another beast, there will come another hunt. Yeah, when the uh, percentage increased here, 97. We're in the end game now. All uh, right, all uh, right, all uh, right. Uh, let's see. He's rank 17. He's the one that we're not gonna do anything with. Can't can't afford anything. All right, let's do him then. Um, next mechanic. There we go. Let's check the mission. Praise the Messiah. So, all right. Uh, so here comes the question. We either. Uh, attack the Saga and we get the achievement for killing him before time runs out or we try and do another mission uh, to get the uh, Neftux out but I don't think we're gonna be able to do that so uh, I think the final mission will be tomorrow so stay put for that thank you much for watching this see you around everybody bye bye